welcome back everybody to the new and shiny and mighty kingdom of Houserland, where we did, despite all the all the setbacks yesterday, end up performing. I'm kind of hoping we can get an empire with this character. It should be fairly straightforward. Still, I still think it's possible to do it with your first character if you blob fast enough. So how are we looking right now? Um, so big threats, really. I mean, the Sahara is not really a threat, given that I assume, based on the fact this is Sahara. Yeah, mostly desert. To be honest, I think Ghana is still the one we've got to watch out for here. Um, but other than that, I think we'll just continue blobbing as per usual. So there was a couple of feedback, uh, a couple of comments on this day's episode that I think are worth bringing up. Firstly, someone said that apparently Coptic gives 20% lifestyle experience, which coupled with Genius and Grey Eminence or, or any of the tier 4 educations would be just super, super powerful. Downside to it, though, of course, is Coptic is male-dominated. And if you wanted to reform it, we'd have to get um, Alexandria, Rome, I believe, uh, places like that, which is not really ideal. Though I imagine it is still applicable for the Mother of All achievement. Bear in mind, it is an African religion, but I don't think that's really... Don't think that's really the one to go for. It kind of goes against the whole point of the, the, the matrilineal campaign there. Oh, the other thing as well, of course, was our son, which I said, you know, we'll set up as our heir, forgetting that we are now playing matrilineal. So we'll keep Cornish Yarg around just for the marriage fodder. Um, we'll marry him not matrilineally. And again, just like we did with Hercule, we might be able to bring it back into our into our dynasty eventually with a bit of uh, with a bit of inbreeding there. So the only truces we've got are with one of our vassals and Kano. So I think we'll just come out swinging again. Just really go butt wild. Um, oh, who are your allies? Shit. Hang on. What have you got then? Um, allied with... Oh, bloody everybody. Oh, Yoruba Land. To be fair, we should probably take out Yoruba Land fairly early on, because they're quite large, aren't they? They're, they're our biggest rival right now, I think, given they're blobbing out of control. God, they're also allied to these guys. Uh, yikes. Okay, um, we can head down through Kaga. It's got 1,000 men. Um, superior as well. Man, we really need some alliances, don't we? We've kind of nerfed ourselves a little bit there by... The thing is, everybody's currently allied to bloody everybody. He's allied to him. He's allied to... Uh, who's this guy here? Oh, right. Kaga as well. Yeah, exactly. Um, we've got Yorubaland down there. Allied to these guys. We've got very few places... Oh my god, you're allied to him. We've got very few places we can actually swing out at right now. Um, we've got plenty of Cassus Belli available. Just not really the... The manpower to back it up. Who have we got that we can marry off, realistically? So we can marry off Cornish Yarg. Let's go ahead and go for that then. I've been marrying a lot so far for specifically just traits, which, don't get me wrong, has obviously worked quite well. We're currently playing as a genius Grey Eminence, so I can't really complain about that. But I think we really need to... We get an alliance with the Kingdom of Borgu early on. Um, can we get an alliance and a trait? What is that? Chicken. No, no thank you. Uh, no, that's really it. I mean, I, I think it's probably worth going for that. Potential military strength is quite good. Current military strength, absolute garbage. Um, and we've got the Grand Emirate of Darfur. That's a bit far away. That's somewhere over... Yeah, somewhere over here. Oh, they're closer than I expected. If we go to war against Canon, they'll be a good ally to have. I think we'll go for this guy first. Obviously the most powerful one. Um, oh, shit. I've started to match... Oh, they're still except not matrilineal anyway, but we'll just double check without the matrilineal taken into account. That's still the best offer. Fine. Absolutely happy to do that. Thank you very much. Plus 69. Excellent. We didn't befriend this man. Oh, right. I was trying to bring him to court, wasn't I? So that we could uh, so that we could get the diddle on. But that's okay. Not really, a, <laughs> not really much of a downside. Good Lord, look at the size of that man. In awe. You could also just go for, like, friendly, friendly friendships. Friendly friendships wouldn't hurt. So you're allied to him, but you're also allied to us. Um, so if they attack us, we've got to be very quick about calling in allies so that they don't also gun us down. And you're allied to... Which one again? Yoruba land. Uh, if we're fast, we might be able to grab something. Specifically, I want this. Um, seeing as it's really fucking up our borders. And our empire... Our, our, obviously, our empire title involves going towards the east. So maybe that's the direction we should head in right now. How are we looking for empire? I think we've got to go for the empire tier title first. What do you think? So if we head towards Kanem, You're allied to those guys. They are technically superior. But if, we're the, if we get there fast... Oh, similar? That's more doable. Conquer Duchy. What do we need for that? Just a high level of uh, high level of prestige. I'll be honest, we're not going to get that. We could subjugate them. Oh, we can do that, but it would cost us a fame penalty. Um, man, that would give us almost all of the empire tier, though. Uh, Seven hundred fifty prestige. That's not that difficult to come by. Let's have a couple of feasts. Let's go on a couple of hunts. Let's see if we can scrounge that up. And then, if we subjugate all of this, we're going to look. Fairly decently sized. Then we've got some areas down here we can blob into. These guys we can wipe out. And then we can start into Darfur, who aren't going to be super powerful compared to us at that stage. I think that's the way forward. Okay, we've got a game plan. Um, how are we looking on the control map, by the way, as well? 
A bit hit and miss, but it's not terrible. 150 right there. So we need, well, like, 175 left now. That's a fantastic start, huh? Uh, how long till we can have a feast? We can have a pilgrimage, too. Sod it. Let's go for it. Uh, so Dora, the temple at Garamele, or to Igbo Oku. Uh, it's the long pilgrimage. We might as well go for that one. Put us in a little bit of debt, but I'm sure we'll be all right in a second. Do a bit of raiding. I don't raid enough, which we should definitely focus on doing a little bit more, especially as now places are starting to become big kingdom level titles, or at least duchies. Uh, there we go. Because we have the esotericism tenant, we might gain wise woman with a little bit more opinion. We failed. Damn, that was unlucky. 61% there, but we missed it. Never mind. Knowledge still eludes you. Tell me about it. Thank you. I won't take that too personally. Uh, how are we looking on the troop front? Now, bear in mind, if we do raise our armies, it does cost us a pretty hefty amount of prestige. So as long as we're good with where we target it probably won't hurt too much to get out there bring back a bit of prestige bring back a little bit of gold um excuse me did i not just talk with them as raiders or did i fucking miss hey get out of here compassionate is fine yet thank you right there we are let's try that again god knows well that didn't stick the first time around boom that'll do it not not a massive amount of gold i will admit but it's uh it's a start I'm actually pulling in okay gold oh bloody hell that's the way we have to go around okay well to be fair we can also use that defensively as well if we do stick to that direction um, so let's head up to here then. Ford over there. Get our diplomacy perk in one second. Let's start moving first, just in case those guys try and catch up to us. Especially as we are losing men with each with each move. Deceitful or humble? Humble's not too bad, right? It's also virtuous as well. Yep, let's go for humble on you then. Send a missive. Uh, absolutely not. Can't afford it. Send Barwo. Gains distracted. That's all right. Don't really care about that too much. Minus one to stats. It's not going to affect things too much. 72 gold. That's actually quite good for just uh, just a quick raid there. Let's go ahead and get thicker than water. So start befriending our family members, who are mostly our vassals too, don't forget. Um, so we kind of killed two birds with one stone there. So I'll get to work on that one. Start getting some stats ready for when we gain the ability to obviously convert our... Oh, there we go. Look at that. Very nice. Um, from when we flip our friends into actually pure stats. I can't remember the actual name of the bloody part. Now, what is it called? Friendly Council. There we are. So each two random skill points. That's still arguably one of the most powerful doctrines we've got available to us. Doctrines? Skills? Traits? Whatever the hell they're called? Lifestyle? Perks? I don't know. Um, we're going to disband you. Hostile armies are around. We're inside our territory. Get out of here. Let me disband my troops, you shit. No! Oi, right, fuck off. Right. Drop them down. What have we got here, then? Uh, Guardian for Cornish Yarg. I guess we'll educate Cornish Yarg. We're going to imprison Dejenba. What's she done wrong? A pants are on fire. You filthy fornicator. I'm not I feel like we can't really feel like we can't really judge for that. So I think we'll uh, we'll leave her alone. Has she got any money? She's got no money. Okay, I'm gonna leave her alone. It's not really worth the hassle. And now my friends in Canem, if we go ahead and subjugate, we can do it. They count as inferior. We'll call in our allies to double down on it, make sure it happens uh relatively smoothly here. Because they will obviously call in theirs as well. Um no fighting in the family. And then you're both acting like petulant children for potentially 500 diplomacy lifestyle experience. Bloody hell. Uh, I assume we got nothing from that then. That's fine. Subject to the conversation, we also gained 20 dread too. I don't see why you would ever not do that. Just because it seems so good. Oh, we've got a load of prisoners we can ransom, huh? You don't say. I guess from raiding. Fantastic. Oh, no, the people we just took, obviously. Ooh. <laughs> I thought maybe when we'd raided them, they'd run out of gold, and now they've just built it up. We ransom them for one gold. Oh, brilliant. What about this guy? One gold as well. Incredible. Excellent work. I think we'll swing for their capital. We'll head through their allies' realm on the way through. Um, oh, I suppose if we do that, though. No, let's not do that. Otherwise, we'll take a lot of attrition on the way over. What's our ally? Oh, he's coming over. Look at that. 3,200. What a guy. And we do have a new next diplomacy perk. That'll do it. Okay. How many friends have we got right now? A grand total of freaking one. Brilliant work. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we befriended you, your sister, Stuart, and Vassal. So she is our friend. I guess they just obviously list the more important things first. We'll start working on our Vassal list just to keep some internal stability. Then we'll go for things like allies, other name rankings that can potentially clap our cheeks we'll work on. I mean that in the sense not as I'm going to take them as a concubine like our mother did, but in the sense that we don't want them to murder us dead. Um, speaking of murder us dead. Oh, there's a chance of... Oh, we gain... So this person loses 75 opinion of us, but we gain 75 renown. Um, yes. Go back to the shadows. Oh, my husband died. Bollocks. On the plus side, we can probably marry for alliance now. So we got that going for us, which is quite nice. Alliance power. Who have we got? The high chief of Brong. Hello, Brong. Um, 
down there. Independent? He actually is. Is that the best we can get, really? We've got the Duchy of Manding, bloody miles away. Oh, shit, this is not very good. Then again, we are going for alliances with Matrilineal taken into account. Uh, I suppose I'll check inheritable traits instead. I mean, how old's her character? Yeah, she's only thir 34 right now. Um, yikes, these are slim pickings, huh? Duchy of Manding and Robust. Go on, then. It's the best we can do, really. Uh, give me... What is that? Inapathetic. Not very hungry. Uh, diplomacy minus one, prowess minus three. Or we go for hashish. Sushi minus two, learning minus 20. Oh, man. But the stress loss is pretty good for that. Press on. We gain frozen grief. Moderate penalty to the health. No, we can't. We can't say that this time around. Um, it, let's go for inapathetic. Uh, it's a minus one diplomacy. But with a couple of friends in the bag, we can probably take care of that in no time at all. And 75 prestige and prestigious image. Wow, that's pretty fucking generous. Right, what have we got here? Imply people to look for the white heart. No. My steward can look for it. I can't be bothered. We can always befriend our steward later on, right? I am keeping an eye on them up there. We're going to make sure they don't gun it for the capital. Uh, someone's trying to murder me. Appreciate it if you didn't. Yeah, let's do it for the stress loss. I think that's great. Um, we can ransom some prisoners as well. Just to some random people here. Igboland and Munio. That's fine. Just get us out of debt here because we're getting a little bit dangerous. We can also negotiate an alliance with Stinky Bishop. What if the allies have been improved slightly? Um, oh, wow. Which one do we want to hear? Um... Intrigue education. This is my heir. To be honest, I don't think intrigue would be too terrible. I still think diplomacy is the more powerful one. Uh, plus, charming children do better. Uh, go on, then. Let's go diplomacy. And let's go for whatever will help out with that. Oh, we could go vengeful for intrigue, though. Uh, can I swap it over again? You only get one free one, don't you? Oh, man. Um, should have maybe gone with Intrigue in hindsight. The issue is I can't think of how to apply Intrigue right now as a relatively small kingdom in the middle of other relatively small kingdoms. You know, it's not like we're inside a big realm or next to a big realm where murder plots might serve us. Um, chased is fine, then. That's okay. Being raided, and we've got those sieges coming in. Um, can we take their capital pretty quickly? Six months left. We can take their capital before they do any serious damage. We'll move in. Clap their bollocks for a force... <laughs> for, 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 for cater, a fornicator. Um, we'll turn around and clap some of these troops because they've got quite a lot of armies just kind of kicking around. If they manage to have a conglomerate, we could be in a little bit of trouble. In terms of my life. This this lady. Oh, my half-sister. Come on. Oh. All right, we'll deal with her in a minute. Right, let's kill some of these bloody troops before this gets out of hand because this is all over the place right now. 36 stress because we haven't caught a white stag. Brilliant. Thank you for that. We give you humble. So Cornish Yarg right now. Learning? I think I'll go learning. I think there's more benefits of that. Um, humble. It's also virtuous. We go for deceitful, which is really bad. Or we go honest, which is also virtuous. Um, I think I'll stick with humble. Opinion of vassal. Oh, it's opinion of vassals. No, not, not vassal opinion. Um, fine, let's go for Honest instead, then. And we're good there. 23%. Very boring. this will be your home. Fine. And my injured brother is wounded. That's war for you. Uh, let's go back, then, and tidy up all of this stuff. We've got the capital siege, which is going to be some... A little bit of ticking war score. It won't be super significant, but if we come up here, counter siege a little bit, kill their troops as and when they come decently close. See, they're turning around now because they've seen our allies coming up. We'll go this way and we'll chase them back around the other side because chances are they're not going to be able to cancel their capital. What are you doing? Make your mind up. <laughs> they're not going to be able to take that back their capital before we can grab this stuff. Our prestige is significantly lower than I expected. That's probably why we're reinforcing quite a sizable prestige. What are you doing? I can't believe two minutes ago I said, man, the AI seems a lot more useful in warfare now. No, I take it back thoroughly. Right, there is that one dealt with. Okay, so we've got some troops guarding the pass. Doesn't matter too much. They've decided to ignore their capital and instead go for the arsehole of nowhere, which is a, a very much appreciated because they quite like taking war score. Whenever our ally decides to actually do fucking something about anything, I think they're trying to avoid attrition. That's all I can really assume because there's no reason why they're why they're doing this. Uh, we're almost up to matriarch as well, which seems fairly appropriate given the, given the achievement. Right, get you guys in. And how are we looking? 907 AD. Bear in mind, we've got until the, the, the game's regular end date to, um... Oh. Hello. Did you form a new alliance while I wasn't looking? Ghana. Oh. 
Well, that doesn't seem particularly fair, does it? You shit. All right, spin around. Um. Oh, you son of a bitch. When did they get this alliance? Christ. Okay, well, I guess that's that war over and done with then, huh? There's no way in hell we can beat Ghana. Shit. Oh, fuck me, I guess. We do have to take these risks. Otherwise, we are just going to get swallowed up by all the other rams, i.e. Ghana. Because it is just a blobby area, so we need to keep the pressure on and we need to keep the speed up. And this is a pretty unfortunate setback. We need to try and find an alliance with Ghana before we can do anything in this region. Um... Yeah, that's a shit. I'm just going to white piece them. We lose 150 prestige. We've lost a significant amount of prestige there. To be fair, prestige not difficult to come by, so I'm not too concerned. A little bit just kind of annoyed that we've missed out on an opportunity. Like, we could have been going to war elsewhere. That's the real big loss of that war. Um, I, don't, I, I have an idea. Why don't we put the woman who tried to murder us on the council? That's a great plan. Um, we can't do anything about her because we have disparate tribes, so we can't even, <laughs> we can't even imprison her, unfortunately. Right, okay. That's a real shame. Our daughter and heir has the potential of marrying off a guy who is Herculean. Man, I can't believe we've lost genius. She came out naive a Pisa. Fuck, you're really bad. I don't understand the education system in this game at all. <laughs> to say that we are a gray eminence in genius, maybe the stats of the educator just don't make any difference at all. Compassionate, humble, chaste. Fuck. God, that sucks. We're going to start building. You know what? I can't do it. We need someone with an intellectual trait. There's fucking no one. Okay, well. Oh, God. Do you think we could get a good alliance? We're genius. So she does have the... She does have the potential of, of having a genius kid. It's fine. It's... Man, what is it when you've only got one parent with the inactive trait? I don't even remember the maths behind it anymore. Oh, this sucks. Okay, um... Let's stick to inheritable traits. I still think that's the way forward here. And we'll just go for the Herculean guy instead. Yeah, everyone is too big to go to war with now. Bollocks. We've paid the price of our kind of genetic... Our genetics program here. It would also have if our freaking character had more than two kids. What is wrong with you? Get to work, for fuck's sake. Is it, uh, I mean, the stress level... Sure, it's impacting it slightly, but not that much. So Matriarch's going to give us another 20%. Great, fantastic. Uh, let's have a hunt quickly. Lose some more stress. I think we just need to churn out a shitload more kids. 150 prestige. Right, so we're out of prestige debt now. Like I said, I'm not too bothered about prestige in CK3. It's very much a currency to be used rather than something to stockpile like in like in CK2. Well, let's go... Once we've ransomed the prisoners out too, we might get some... Okay, gold from this. Ah, oh, now that's the opposite of what we want right there. People are going to war on us. Now, this is this is the worst case scenario. Let's get our allies in. We have a couple of decent allies now. We've got gold if we need mercenaries. Only if we need mercenaries. I would rather not. This is a, this, That's a kind of desperate measure type situation. Let's rush over and see if we can kill or grab their capital while they're pissing around. If we stay there, they've got to take a river crossing into us. With our ally coming in too, we could be okay here. This might just end up being a good amount of profit and a good amount of prestige to back us up. Fuck, they do have a lot of troops kicking around over there though, don't they? Bollocks. Right, get in here, help me out. Right, okay, that's good. If they're taking a river crossing and our guys back us up, fantastic. We should have that. I can't believe we've got 9% for that. That's actually insulting. <laughs> Okay, well, we've got time to take the capital, which is great. We might end the war. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. Immediately bouncing back. I like that a lot. Um, what did we get out of it? 20 prestige and 39 gold. Was it worth it? Not at all, but it brings us a truce, which is all that really matters there. Okay. Right. Dodged a kind of bullet there. Not too bad. Got our last diplomacy perk. I'm going to swap over to wealth focus so that we could potentially get a bit more gold uh, if we end up in the situation where we end up with something like... Mercenaries needed. Uh, we'll get a little bit more cash out of that as well. Obviously, cash is always useful, huh? 544 gold. I, I genuinely just want to keep it for mercs right now. I know that it, it's potentially a missed opportunity by not investing it. I, I don't think we can... I think there's any building that would be more valuable to us than mercenaries, uh, mercenary access at this stage. So when did you become friends with Ghana? That must have been very recent. What about Kano in the south? Our sister-in-law. Um, so we can conquer you with absolutely no side effects. And look at all these splintered rounds here. Okay, we could potentially do some work here then. Let's change direction a little bit. Um, how many troops you got? 460. 
with their allies too. If we go conquer county, it's 50. It, it's piety as well, which I'm more than happy to do this because if we take the capital, it's over. Like, that's the war done. Excellent. That war is basically, I mean, it is over. Excellent. Right. Fantastic grab right there. Just the little victories is what we've got to focus on right now until we can kind of build ourselves up to be fairly significant. Let's get you overseeing that one. Or not. Sorry. Didn't want you to do that in the end. Uh, whenever you're ready. There we are. Thank you. <laughs> right. What about you? 306. Yeah, look at this. We can go province to province. As long as they're our religion, it's going to be fairly easy to rip apart. Those are raiders. Let them leave. Then we'll move in and take the, take the scraps. Come. Oh, hello. I didn't realize you were over there. Oh, you've grabbed that, you son of a bitch. So we can take this one instead. Uh, right, let's bring you over. Allies? None of note. None that I can see. What are we looking at then? Conquer County. Vastly inferior. Get to work. This is where we can really go butt wild. And this is something the AL will never do. Just got to take the capital. I'm not calling in allies. Don't think it's necessary. Might be necessary. We'll see where they go, how they handle it. But if, I mean, if they're not going straight for our capital, they literally cannot win now. All we got to do is take this. Unless they immediately turn around and try and stop us, there's no way in hell they can win. Or I've misunderstood exactly how many provinces they've got. Three titles. What the fuck's your... Oh, hello. <laughs> Completely missed that. Okay, my bad. Doesn't matter too much. We've still got this in the bag. Hey, if things get a bit dangerous, we just call in the allies. They're taking Kano. I don't really even care about Kano. It's a province we've just picked up. What are they going to do? Lower the control? Oh, they're not even going to do that. Got a bit bored, huh? We're going to try and counter siege. We're not going to be able to... They're not going to be able to do it before we take the capital. So we might be done here. Come on. 100%. That's what we want to see. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Some good gains. They're only small, but they're pretty good so far. I suppose, actually, there's a lot of realms nearby that are in full partition, right? So all these duchies, all these temporary little kingdoms like Yoruba land. I assume when you die, you're going to spend some like, fuck. So we could just murder you. What is it? Uh... Dramadura, line of succession. Hello. Uh, my niece. Oh, that would be quite good. <laughs> uh, what? Okay. Um, if you were to die, that would be perfect because then we've got a big, powerful ally to ourself. Um, literally directly to ourself with potential for inheritance in the future. That would be awesome. Ah, there we go. Nice follow up there. Hey, you know what? In hindsight, I take back everything I said about our, our marriages perhaps being done wrong. If anything, we may have just accidentally cashed in. Right, you, my friend. Declare war. What have we got? Counter duchy. Counter count conquer. County county conquer. Uh, 50 prestige again. No reason not to. This war is already over. Excellent. Wow, this is this is good. If we could take Igbo land, join up to the south here, because all these provinces are untouchable. If we can unify this, you know, we've got such a powerful border. Move from the south upwards. Ensure that we've always got somewhere safe to fall back on. It's got a call into one of our allies' war. Doesn't really matter too much. I'll probably ignore them. Boom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Another one down. Ooh, this is going good. I will admit, when this episode started, I was feeling a little bit like, oh no, we've made some horrible, irreversible mistakes. But you know what? Things are coming together. You've got allies kind of all over the place, but so do we. Um, it's a single county again. Their allies aren't going to be able to get over here before we've taken it. Well, let's do it then. Declare war. Conquer county. Raise the troops again. How's the prestige looking? Just got to keep an eye on the prestige of gold. That's the only thing I'm really concerned about here. Got gold and obligations. And I assume those are demand payments that just came in. Very nice. And any hooks we've got. Do you have any actually yet? Wow. I suppose we didn't have gold and obligations. So what was the point, huh? Ghana, you're getting quite large. And that means that we're probably going to be able to get plenty of hooks out. You know, someone brought up a very relevant point yesterday. Our faith. Uh, and quite a few of the African faiths are a lot more open when, when compared to Christianity. So things that you would be able to blackmail, like same-sex relations, deviancy, male adultery, witchcraft, those would all be something that we could get hooks for and blackmail them for in, in kind of Christian realms. But we don't have that luxury here, which is probably why we're getting way less gold relative to that. Now, I assume as this character, we're, we're good. Like, we don't have to worry about Garius, Content, Impatient. Nothing to worry about. So we can take hooks, we can... Get claims. We can do whatever the hell we want here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This guy we can vassalize, which is phenomenal. Who was that? Oh, Rano. Oh, fantastic. And we got a son. Sons are useless. Butter. Uh, gotta look up some more bloody cheese now, haven't I? Red Hawk Cheese. I've never heard of that before, but that's an incredible name. Red Hawk. He's intelligent. He's hell. He deserves a cool name like Red Hawk rather than Stinky Bishop like that other fucking kid. <laughs> a feast. I mean, we can afford it, especially now that we've got goblin old. Go gobl goblin old evasions. Yeah. Goblin Old Ovations. Uh, we're going to seek the aid of the spirits as well. 
Uh, I'm going to spend the gold on it rather than offering ourselves, given that, you know, our last character was becoming ill. Not entirely sure why. I do want to keep some of that. Oh! Hey, that's pretty good. I'll take that one happily. Um, I was going to say, given that I don't understand the mechanics here, uh, I haven't looked at the files or anything like that. I want to keep CK3 as much as a, uh, of a mystery to myself as possible for as long as possible. Because CK2, by the end of it, it was just like seeing the Matrix. It was like, oh, I know what these triggers are. I know what the conditions for this one are. It was just not... You know, it, 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 you see games very differently when you kind of understand how they work, which is why I'm staying a hell away from Rimworld morning. Um, friendship with Sarkin Gaddy Gao. That's okay. And then we should probably also start making alliances with my vassals, like I said I should. Um, what else we got here? Uh, my sister, Stuart, and vassal. I assume we're already friends, given the... Yep. Uh, Rano, then. This guy agreed to become our vassal, so you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to befriend him. Seems like a nice guy. 95% of Oba Magisola, whose primary heir is Doramadora. Child lost in the forest. Tragic happens often. Oh my god, really? The 5%. Oh, okay. Go on. Try it again. That would have been a, an incredible ally to get, especially when the vultures are kind of circling us here. Ooh, yikes. This is going to be close. Go! Siege! No, no. Stay there. Stay there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, we're good. Well, that was dangerous. <laughs> ha! There we go. Look at us now, huh? Much better. Imagine if we'd have succeeded with the war against Canem if they didn't have that alliance in Ghana. My god, we'd be a, we'd be a powerhouse. Um, although they're not that impressive. Again, a lot of it is desert. It's just kind of this area that's fairly impressive. Okay, what have we got then? Vassals expect council positions. Never going to happen. Um, we could make some duchies, make sure our family members get titles rather than randomers. But I would rather... I mean, it gives prestige. We could double down on that. Children of Kaga does give us a, a ducal claim as well. I want to keep the titles myself currently, because we're only 5 out of 6. There's no reason to make them unless we're on Death's Door, which is unlikely, given that we're now strong as well. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. I should probably move off of Stewardship at some stage. When we finish this one, we'll probably go for Tax Woman. We'll probably move into Learning, start work on Medicine Focus, try and make her live as long as possible. This, coupled with Strong, coupled with a great character who's genius, who's got the highest education, we could be here for a while, and she's... You know, got so many opportunities available to her because she's not complete shit, unlike every other bloody fucking character in our realm. Conquer Duchy. Um, vastly inferior. No allies there in Igbo land. Uh, Kefi, what have you got going for you? Vastly inferior as well. We've got so many titles just lined up, ready for the picking here. Right, so let's drop you there. And then Kefi, Kefi, Kefi. You are first on my hit list, brother. Um, go invade Kingdom. Oh, 2,000 prestige, though. I would use that on something like Ghana, maybe Borgu. How many provinces have you got? One, two, three. Oh, it's got quite a lot. Maybe even Yoruba land, because they've got a lot of little provinces, especially towards the south here, too. Man, that's a hard choice. Um, don't worry about it too much. Don't worry about it too much. The real hurdle for this, uh, I mean, it's bell curve difficulty, right? We've got to beat all the others, and, and the more other people blob, the harder things are going to become. And we've got to keep up with that. But when we when we hit that peak, everything gets super easy, and we're gonna snowball out of out of control in no time. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna use. I, I think I'm just gonna go for you instead. We'll conquer a duchy here. We'll go for this as quickly as we possibly can. Is that their troops as well? Ooh, who are you guys? Me of uh oh, that's convenient. Reinforce and clap them dead immediately. That's quite nice. Army on the borders, right there, ready to be murdered. Hey, fantastic. Do what we can to take out their troops first. I always fall into this trap, especially around here. I'm falling into the trap of, you know, they've only got a single county. Let's just rush it down and win the war. And of course, the problem with that is that they can go for your capitals. They can get alliances in that time, etc., etc. So let's be a bit more careful about picking off the troops up front. That way, if they do get an alliance, it's not as impactful. Right, you are done here, my friend. 49%. We could just go for his capital, see if we can capture him. We actually befriended our vassal. Fantastic. I noticed we got a new option there with... Um, uh, oh, he's our best friend. Cool. Um, with our matriarch perk, which I didn't know was a thing. Right, I think we're actually friends with all of our vassals now, huh? Just got to win you over, and we're basically done. Come on, 95%. Got him. Who is in charge? Our niece. Uh, surely we can arrange an alliance, huh? Demand a conversion problem because we're head of faith. Ah, uh, because we had a house, sorry. Hey, there we go. Um, we could become a king. I wonder if she'd accept vassalage. Call house member to walk. Claim title. Oh my god, she's our house. We can just claim the whole kingdom of Yoruba land. 
Oh my god, that's huge. Can I not? I, I mean, I assume if we just get a border with her, though, we can vassalize her. And there's also the Kingdom of Nupe there, which split out from Yoruba Land. So if we take Nupe, get Yoruba Land on a border, potentially vassalize them, we've got this entire crescent of land then. Ooh, that could be a game changer. But yeah, somehow marriage has ended up being perfect. Uh, we, we, we have another another king of our dynasty kicking around. I want to try and befriend you then. Um, I think you're a more valuable friend than the other person. We're all the same guy twice, are we really? Oh, they were against our allies. Well, that was a convenience. Call a hunt. I suppose we are getting slightly stressed out, so why the hell not? There we go. Um, focused hunting effort. Prowess plus one. Sure, why not? Doesn't really matter too much what we pick, I don't think. We're just doing it for the prestige anyway. And look, we're immediately clawed out of the prestige. I'll rope up 1,300 seemingly overnight. That's pretty good. I think that's all right. 59%. Yeah, I think we'll just siege down to their capital. I was only taking that one so that we wouldn't lose attrition on the way over. Who resigned? How dare you? And we befriended them as well. Fantastic. So we can go back to our other vassal now um, and continue work on... Oh, because it cancelled it mid-scheme. It prevents you doing it. Oh, that's a bit shit. I thought it was just if you failed, to be honest. Let's go tax one next, and then I want to go for... How long we got on that? First of September... Oh, like a few months. Okay, fine. Thank you. Victory in our allies' war. Now we just got to finish our own war. And we might finish it with this. Come on. Try to be known to all. Throw her in jail. Then we can ransom her out. 71% balls. Let's go for the war goal instead then, huh? Oh, their troops are up there. Sieging my stuff? I don't think so. Wait. Get out of there. You leave that alone. <laughs> it's mine now. Right, Marshal. Uh, my son and champion, Cornish Yarg. What a warrior. A man I'm hoping will keep genius in the dynasty, seeing as we bloody failed to do it. She's 45. Yeah, we tried, but uh, didn't really get very far with that. I can't believe we only had three kids as well. 67%. Fuck me, this war is taking a bloody long time. There we are. That's what I thought. Goodness, what happened there? Something just kind of ticked over. Oh, unless he died and we had the person who was his successor in our prison. That makes more sense. Look at that. Wow, we got way more than I expected there. Very cool. Right, now we need to give some stuff away. I'm not going to give too much away. Um... I was gonna say which one has more taxes? Uh, neither, idiot. Let's give this one away. Sod it. My son, my half brother. Blue, you can have it. I think you're a trustworthy guy. And let's go ahead and start getting some control. Yeah, see, we've been expanding quite greedily again. It's gotta watch out for popularist uprisings. But to be honest, this is going good. Now, if we can take you down, conquer duchy, we can vastly inferior. If we take him, we get a border with Yoruba land, and then before Borgu swallows him up, we might, might be able to get an alliance or vassalize. Um. We're going to have to be bloody fast, though, and I think... I I, I, I know for a fact we're expanding w way too fast here. But time is of the essence. So, let's do it. Then if we have to sit with our feet up for a while and, and gain control over our promises again, so be it. That's okay. Now, bear in mind, that was with allies, too. So, I'm going to call in allies this time around, because this one's a fairly key war. Let's get our vassals out of there as well. Call our house member... Oh, we can call her to war as well in Yoruba Land. Oh, incredible. Right, go for the capital straight away then. It's their army as well. Ooh, this could be dangerous. This could be dangerous. Oh, they, they moved before we could catch them anyway. That's a bit of a shame. All right, go for their capital. Our allies are coming down. If they attack us, they're dead. They're done for. What a, what a ridiculous move. Come on. There we go. Dead as dicks. Boom, 26% straight off the bat. Our allies can side up the rest of their troops. We'll take the capital. This war's done already. Ah, Sisse, you fool. I'm back down to zero stress. Fantastic. And we obtain lost knowledge. Ooh. We really know what we can do with that, but there we go. Probably, probably lost for a reason. No, no, look. 100%. Goodbye, my friend. Okay. That's looking chunky. We've done a great job today. I, I really thought we would fucked up when I started off there. Um, yeah, I thought this might be the case. Oh, I expanded too fast. Okay. Um, not a big deal. Can I offer you a vassalage? Offer to join war. No, I want to offer you vassalage. I don't really know how vassalage works in uh, in CK3. I'm going to join your war. Can't. We're not allied. Well, that explains a lot. Uh, negotiate alliance. She will not accept because we are not her child, her parent, or her sibling. So if we're married to an uncle, aunt, niece, or nephew, we're allowed to. But if we are her fucking aunt, we're not allowed to. How does that make any freaking sense? <laughs> <laughs> all right, fair enough then. Um, let's see what we can give away here. Oh, it's all going to be travel holdings, you fool. Um, let's give you away. Make sure we give different duchies away. We give it to my nephew. Excellent. Um, let's give this one away to uh, Dura Dura, our other nephew. This is just going to be a full family run, I think. 
There's so much you can do with a full family run in CK3 that you couldn't do in CK2. The house head obligations are phenomenal. So that's going to be... And we can demand payments from them if we really feel like it. Speaking of which, let's get some alliances going here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. Honestly, I thought I bricked it to start off with, but I think we've uh, I think we've already brought it back. We may have slightly overran for today, so I guess we'll leave it there. Thank you guys all for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the a bit more of a down-to-earth CK3 series. I'm looking forward to when the total conversions come out too, because I, I crave, brother, I crave the fantasy worlds that we can't play in anymore. Thank you to our executive producers over on Coffee for their support for the final month here on Coffee for October. A big thank you to Triple Agrone, Night Rouge, Patty Pat Pies, Crow Skull, Don of Bones, Oliver, Chris, Solon Breen, Goatfather, KNGB, Scarlet Bard, Simba, Nostra, Slow King, 1710, and Gibbering Man, along with everyone else at the executive producer tiers over on Coffee for their support in keeping the channel possible in the first place. Thank you as well to Viazine, Spectre 2319, Hoofenspiel, Marcus Absent, Extra Small, Shlomo, Bizarro Jesus, Rovery, But I'm Homeless, Fatiban, Riley M, Bordoon, Jumpin' Jack, Paracosm, Master 2000, Saint Raccoon, Magister, Militon, Noobmeister, and all of you guys home for watching as well. Thank you all for your support. See you all tomorrow for, I think, some serious progress. Oh, I didn't also notice Garner had split. I'll mention that, I guess, at the start of tomorrow's episode.